All right, hello again, and welcome back to another fine episode here at the Artist's Corner, where we try to bring you quality tutorial illustrations uh, drawn by yours truly, Dave Joyner. And today we will be working on this picture of bag end. We're using just regular markers here, and you'll have to forgive me if uh, I'm hoping that this tutorial is visual, it's capable, you guys can see it. I've been uh, having a little trouble with uh, finding the proper, uh, the proper um, lighting. You see, I have been learning the past day all about flickers. And this is a, a thing that happens if you're using uh, if you are using halogen bulbs or LED bulbs. And I did not know this, but I do now. And uh, I find it fascinating. You know, it's, I love learning new things. I sometimes don't like the way I, you have to go about learning new things. <clears throat> I, uh, I tend to be the kind of person that if I come up against a problem, I like to tackle it head on but at this point in my life I got a lot of responsibilities and they come first family and uh, my children basically cooking dinner can take up the entire evening if you're any good at it at least if you want a dinner worth eating in this house anyway so the issue with the flicker is that there is a rate of uh, there is a rate where if you're using a uh, uh, halogen bulb or an LED bulb where the light will actually flicker down the screen now right now we're using regular old-fashioned 60 watt bulbs and this seems to be the best choice uh, I'm gonna jump in here real quick I'm still working on clearing up some of this stuff here we got to get that in there like so gotta clean up your edges here Dave okay <clears throat> now you take uh, so as you can see I'm using my favorites here and a little bit of that in there okay and I don't know how much of this is gonna show when we're all done but because as you know this will actually lighten up you might even be able to watch it happen as we're drawing that's gonna lighten up on us now we're gonna let this dry it might appear dry right now but it's not really dry and we are gonna bust out with a little colored pencil we're gonna come in oh wait no before that we're gonna finish we're gonna finish so Get the brown back out again, and we're going to finish doing our dirt. So let's go ahead and just start at the top. We're going to work our way down. And righty, just like that. Again, I'm using just a basic colored pen. You can use whatever you like. Make sure you got enough selections of your pens. And unlike, you know, as you can see, this one's dying. This one is just about toast. And uh, that's what happens when you, you're poor, like myself, and you take anything your friends offer you. But, hey, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And why should we be? It's free. Anyway, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with a free pen. If you can make awesome stuff come out of a free pen, nothing to complain about. It's all about what you do with what you got. All right. So, we have a little bit, let's just try to continue darkening this in just a little bit. Okay. And for this roadway here, and this dirt here, we're going to go ahead and just continue. Remember that you're looking for common... Uh, I don't know what we want to call this. Uh, similarities? 
you want to be able to see that there's uh, your eye likes the fact that this brown is the same as this brown and this brown's the same as that brown it likes that kind of stuff it looks for that in nature it looks for patterns and uh, it's very important to give your eye what it wants ooh I like that I want to call it that give your eye what it wants don't fight against it when you're working on an illustration like this you want to kind of understand that this is semi childish this is a super fast drawing can't really uh, I'm not thinking very much about what I'm drawing I'm talking to you guys as I'm doing it and uh, if anybody knows me they know that if I really get into an illustration man it's lights out for the conversation we just uh, there we go so we now have a at five minutes and 57 seconds a almost completely colored illustration I have left some of this out in here I am not fully sure why I did that but we are gonna go ahead and find let's see here a dark yeah we can go dark we're going dark so um, this is questionable you guys gotta be super careful coming in and going dark. If you have the skill, that's cool, but not everybody does. And I say that because I'm actually leaving out some stuff here that will be done in with a lighter color. And uh, it's it's some it's easier to sometimes uh, go in light and then go over the top. You see, like right over here, I'm gonna come in, and I'm kind of coming in in a zigzaggy pattern. The reason why is I know I have a, a level of grass here it needs to be done in a lighter shade. And I'm actually kind of defining the top. If I if you see I've changed the angle. I changed the angle. So first I'm going this way, I'm going this way, I'm going this way, I'm going that way. But I'm kind of in the center zone, almost a cross hatching style. I'm locating some of that. And then over here as well because we're looking for that commonality we're looking for similar colors and your eye likes that kind of stuff so we're going to put some in here <clears throat> now maybe a little bit in here and we can put that one away oh wait over here and along the side of the house here maybe a little bit in there now, we know we got grasses that are coming down and the angles. And let's just really make sure that up near the tree here, under the canopy, we are fully dark. Now, a lot of this lightens up. This is going to lighten up as I'm coloring it. As I, you know, can see up here, this zone up here we were talking about earlier, look how much that has dried to become the same as this. We'll actually be coming in with darker colors to bring that out. But while we're here, can anybody remember what color Bilbo's door is painted? I can't, but I think he painted his door green. But I think we're gonna go ahead and just say that he has a red door. You want a red door, Bilbo? painted it red just the other day but we'll go ahead and just say and I don't know I'm gonna probably if anybody jumps on this they're gonna be jumping on here to tell me I didn't do it right but I'm coming in here and I'm defining the top of this door and I'm not trying too hard we know that I'm going to now come over the whole thing with, if I can find it quick enough, a red marker, or a light red, excuse me, maybe even a purple. Let's see what we got here. Does that look red? That looks red. That's good color. All right. Now, I'm going to start at the top and work it down. Oh, that's going to be... That's a little too red. No, I like it. 
I like it. We're going with it. And we are going to go ahead and use this almost like a paintbrush. And we're going to go ahead and remember that the top of the door will probably be um, probably be uh, darkers. I'm going to use blacks and stuff for shading on this illustration. So we're going to do that right now because I want you guys to see what happens now that I've got most of this illustration done. We're going to come in here at 10 minutes and 32 seconds. We've got just a couple minutes left. And we're going to go ahead and start really defining the edges on stuff. All right. Come in here into the canopy. We're going to start adding some of these little leaves. And we can go ahead and say that that we're going to need to do another tutorial on this everybody. I was hoping that I could get some of this in there before we ran out of time, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, again, I will say thank you for joining me at the Artist Corner, and I look forward to another tutorial on this subject. And I'll see you guys back here again real soon. Have a lovely day.